still one of my favorite sweatshirts that I own. So all bikes, no matter the brand, require maintenance, just like anything else. And this is not going to be a bashing Harley Davidson video. So if that's what you came here for, uh, this is not going to be for you. But I do want to talk about the reliability of Harley Davidson and a change that I'm planning on making. But today we are gonna go over to Harley Davidson in San Diego to do our 35,000 mile service. And I thought this would be a good time to talk about that. Now, throughout my riding career, I've owned Hondas, Suzuki, uh, Kawasaki's, different brands of motorcycles. They've all had their ups and downs, but the bottom line is, they still need maintenance. You have to take care of them. So I'm jumping on the bike. I'm taking you guys with me and I hope you guys enjoy today's vlog. Let's go. So I've always been a big believer of if you take care of your equipment, your equipment's going to take care of you. And, you know, anybody in this day and age, when we talk about technology and the advancements in technology, you know, companies, motor companies, you, they get a chance to make their tolerances tighter uh, when in turn directly affects the performance and reliability uh, and durability of the products. In this day and age, I truly believe that, you know, the reliability and durability is in the eye of the beholder. Anybody who buys any type of car or motorcycle for that matter is always gonna wanna to feel like they made a good purchase. So these are just things that are in my opinion for the Harley Davidson I, and I, I need to share with you a story on a way that I destroyed this Harley Davidson, uh, but it wasn't the motor company's fault. Anybody who wants to challenge the reliability and durability of the Harley Davidson, I would then in turn challenge you uh, to go check out a channel. It's called Million Dollar Bogan. Uh, this is a guy out of Australia who legitimately takes Harley Davidsons and takes them all the way to their limit and then I would say probably goes a few miles past their limit. Just watching those videos should give you some pretty good comfort if you're a Harley Davidson owner or thinking about owning a Harley Davidson uh, that the motor company is doing a good job in making a reliable product. You know, this is my 2020 Road Glide Special and I've been really good with doing maintenance on this bike, making sure that every 5,000 miles, I'm getting it properly serviced. You know, because of that, there's nothing that has happened with this bike that I ever felt was the motor company's fault. In turn, let me just tell you the story on how I broke this thing. So this bike has RDRS on it and it's got traction control and all the bells and whistles. Now last year, during the Stubborn American Rally, which is something I'm going to in less than a week, by the way, for the Stubborn American 2022, more details on that coming. But last year during this rally, there was a burnout pit. You know, it was soaked down with water to make sure that, you know, we're not burning up tires and things like that. And, uh, Let's just say that that traction control will not budge, not even a little bit. Um, and it's it's really a tip of the cap to Harley Davidson and their and their product because I ended up exploding my transmission because of it. Got to make sure you turn that traction control off. If you're gonna do something silly like that. But either way, that was not the motor company's fault. That was my fault. And it's something that. Uh, you know, it's a lesson learned, but it really should make you feel good that they, they have a rock solid product. And when they say the traction control on, take my word for it, it's on. Because we have that trip coming up, we're getting our maintenance done. It's, it's a couple hundred miles early, 
but you know the trip in itself is probably going to be around 3,000, 3,200 miles. So I want to go and get that out of the way now. You know, check my tires, make sure everything's going to be good uh, in a service. I am going to make a change, and I don't, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. But let's uh, let's get into San Diego Harley Davidson, and I'll go into that in, in more detail. Man, this traffic this morning, I tell you. You know, you spend so much money to be here in Southern California. And I'll tell you, it, it, it comes with too many frustrations, traffic being one of them. I mean, it's nine in the morning. I don't know what time people usually are starting work these days, but it's just been nonstop since I left the house. I'm over it. Let's, let's go, let's get over to San Diego Harley Davidson. So a little bit of a side note, this is the first vlog with the new modular helmet. Be curious to see how the uh, sound quality is gonna turn out. You guys can uh, let me know down in the comments. As we're getting ready to pull into San Diego Harley Davidson, I just started thinking, I'm hoping that the quality is just as good as before. Uh, this helmet is a tad bit louder than um, the Ghost Bandit, so we'll see, we'll see how this turns out. This is considered the, the back way to San Diego Harley-Davidson. You kind of go through a residential area and then it just kind of opens up to a business industrial area and you're there. And if you're wondering, I'm, I'm actually using the same setup that I did before as far as the audios from my 10C Evo and then the videos from the GoPro. Uh, but with obviously the modular helmet system, you gotta use that different mic that kind of sits off to the side and it's not directly you know, in front of your, your mouth. So I think there's gonna be a little bit more background noise. But going with the modular, I tell you what, it's the way to go. I'm kicking myself that I didn't do that sooner. They're always doing some type of event here too, so you can check out their social media posts, things like that. All right. Let's go get checked in and I'm gonna tell you guys about uh, a little change. Okay, so when it comes to the engine oil with the Harley Davidson, I've been running standard um, Tony Weight 50, the Harley Davidson oil, since I got the bike. Um, one of the things I did notice, and it's actually on the manufacturer's website as well, letting you know that it is not in entirely uncommon for every 1500 miles, if you're riding it hard, to be down a quart of oil. Uh, that's pretty much what was happening to me, especially on these longer trips. I found myself to be you know, running it hard in different elevations and different temperatures and it being down about a quart of oil. So this is the first time I'm gonna be switching over to synthetic and I'm gonna make that change from standard to the, the Sin 3 product by Harley Davidson. And then when we go on this trip uh, next week, I'll be able to, to judge that really well between the differences and, and what I feel and what I see and what I hear uh, with the synthetic oil. Typically, the synthetics are gonna make the engine noise a little bit louder, and those are always things, if you own a bike, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You hear every little tick and, and what's going on with your bike. So that is gonna be the big change. I'll be excited to tell you guys uh, what, what I think about switching over from standard to synthetic. So me, personally, I have been very, very pleased with the reliability and durability of Harley-Davidson. I definitely think it's different than back in the day where uh, 
there were other issues going on, but technology has changed. And this goes for manufacturers across the board. I do believe that they are pretty freaking reliable. Now you might hear or run into those situations from other people who have owned Harleys, but that's across the board on other brands as well. There is no, uh, no catch all. It is just one of those things where, you know, you're gonna have some type of mistake, something that happens, some type of tolerance failure that's going to cause somebody to have a, a bad taste in their mouth uh, about the product and that goes for cars and trucks and things like that as well. So if you're wondering about the reliability and you're thinking about getting a Harley Davidson or maybe touring on your current Harley Davidson, I would tell you to stop worrying about it. They are very, very reliable. Uh, they can take a beating and they do really, really well. These are just my opinion. So we're just going to get a couple edits done while we're waiting for the bike and then we will go for a ride and I'll kind of uh, close this thing out. Catch up with you in a second. Okay, the bike's done. We're gonna get back on it. We're gonna test out some new audio settings on the Senna, so hopefully it sounds better. And uh, we'll just scoot around for a little bit, so let's go. I seriously love the feeling of getting my bike serviced. Like right after it's serviced, I know that it's good to go. It's been checked out by a Harley professional and I, it just gives me more confidence on the road. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But we're gonna go tool around and uh, hopefully get this whole Senna situation figured out with my audio and then we'll wrap it up. All right. So, you know, the, the reason I went with the synthetic this time around, um, along with, you know, me having to pretty much check the oil all the time and realizing it was always, you know, burning it up, is because the mileage is, you know, we're at 35,000 and I just want to make sure that the bike uh, can stay as cool as possible, which synthetic is supposed to do is, is make it cooler. And there really is only two complaints about going from standard to synthetic. One of it is going to be the price. It is more expensive to run synthetic than it is standard. And number two is that in the you know, the V-twins and, and things like that, they they pretty much are, are a noisier engine. And with the synthetic oil, it will, I guess, pronounce those little ticks and things like that a little bit more. They'll be a little bit more noticeable. And if you ride any type of motorcycle, and especially if it's yours, you notice every single tick. Um, I know it was bothering me because I felt like I was having a lifter problem with my lifters, you know, especially during cold starts. I just felt like it's, it's starting to get a little louder. I didn't know what was going on. I've had techs look at it. They say it seems to be okay, but it's my bike and it's something that when you're riding it all the time, you, you understand it. You understand when things are not sounding exactly like they should. So that was the reason for going with that. And now I'm getting ready to go on this trip. I'll probably put anywhere between three and 4,000 miles on the bike. And I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back on the road. On this trip, I'm gonna be testing out new product. And another thing I'm gonna be doing is, I, I think I'm gonna daily vlog the actual trip in itself. Kind of showing you guys, you know, my thought processes when I'm, you know, either finding filming locations or, or doing different films, but really, my thoughts and feelings when I'm out on the road and, and as you all know anything can happen when you're out on the road and I just want to be able to talk you through it how I'm finding my places to stay and, and just share all that experience with you so all right well let's uh, let's go ahead and just finish up this vlog back in the studio and I will catch up with you guys in a minute let me close this video with these thoughts obviously I feel very comfortable with the reliability and durability of Harley Davidson. I have no problems leaving uh, in less than a week from now to take another long distance travel trip. Now, when it comes to things that you do to your bike, I mean, we always want to make them our own and we do upgrades and things like that. Now I have a stage two on the bike and you know, that's probably as far as I will take it 
because as you keep pushing the envelope on what the manufacturer has built that motor for, there are other things that you need to also take care of. And if you don't, that'll lead to breakdowns and things like that. So all in all, those are my thoughts. Today's technology, everybody has got a great product out there. Um, hopefully you're happy with whatever purchase you have, but if it is a Harley Davidson, fear not, you can get out there, hit the road and be confident she'll bring you home. But that'll do it for today. Until next time, you guys ride safe, be safe, and we'll catch you on the next one.